So what's going on guys? My name's Chopper and welcome everybody to the video today. Now I feel like it's been a really long time since we've talked about Hightail, about six months in fact, since I made my last Hightail video updating about what's going to be happening with the game and when we can expect the release date to happen. And to be quite honest, in all of the meantime we've had since that last video, it's been pretty much radio silence uh, from Hightail's end about the development of the game. However, if you've been paying attention, there are a lot of clues as to what's going on and what they're plans are with Hytale and what's going to be happening within 2020. And I say that because I wouldn't expect anything huge to happen for the rest of at least this year. So we're going to talk about everything that we know regarding Hytale up to this point in time near the end of 2019, nearly an entire year after the original release and announcement of Hytale itself. If you guys end up enjoying the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up as it does help a lot more people become aware of this information and hopefully we can all get on the same board when it comes to Hytale because I know this stuff is kind of frustrating. If you're brand new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do that as well so you don't miss any Hytale and or Minecraft videos. But with that all being said, guys, let's get started. Now, as I said before, in my previous Hytale video, the one I made around half a year ago at this point, I predicted Hytale 2, at least the beta, come out around this summer, and obviously that didn't happen. What we did get, however, in the meantime, was a couple of different blog posts along with some other information in the peripherals on Twitter and on different blog posts on websites. And this seems to be the main problem for Hytale right now. Many people who are wanting to get information on this game often go to the website, but because their latest blog post hasn't been updated in around three months, people think that this project has basically been completely abandoned in the eyes of some players, but obviously that's not the case. In the blog post three months ago, they show off exactly what they've been working on and developing, and they show off a lot of the customization that's featured in Hytale, such as model changing. They mention that your character model is not going to be one stationary thing that you have to go and change later. Like, you can change the, your character model in the blink of an eye and on a whim, which is really cool. They also show off the ability for you to change the weather in-game, and they show off a lot of different examples right here, and to be honest, these look absolutely gorgeous. Giving the ability for players to completely customize the look and feel of their game is so important when it comes to Hytale's philosophy on developing this game that this was a necessary part of it. It's not even just the time of day or general weather that you can adapt, it's basically every single color aspect, and you can design the skybox essentially from the ground up they've broken it down and give you all the tools to make your own skybox not only can you change every aspect of the weather but you can also go in and change the very textures of the block in the blink of an eye and you can watch them shift from the old to the new before your eyes in game which is something that no other game has done before in, in this scale they also go on to say that you can change your own custom weapons and effects for these so you could basically build these custom weapons whatever your imagination thinks from the ground up you can design it how you want it to look, sound, and feel. And of course, the examples that they show off are just works in progress, but these are really good indicators of what players who are interested in developing these in Hytale could start doing. And then to cap off this update, they basically mentioned that their philosophy is to develop all the tools that you need to never use anything external for doing what you want in-game. That was one of the things with Minecraft is if you wanted something that was out of the ordinary, a little bit special, you wanted to change the look or functionality of your game, you would often have to go to an external site, get mods, get a, a different pack or whatever. Hytale is going a different direction and is more or less trying to focus on you having all the tools you need just in one spot. And that's something that I can really appreciate as no other game has done that super well in the past. You've always had to go externally to get all of the coolest stuff and it's never been available inside of the engine of the game. Now that update again was about three months ago. And as you can tell by this update and all of the other things that they've shown off already, it looks like this game is basically done. Maybe not completely finished and polished and ready to ship, but at least ready for beta testing. So the question becomes, what exactly are they doing between that update and then the rest of these three months? Well, apparently, we're going to be getting a really big update very soon. Hytale actually acknowledged the fact that they haven't really updated us at all. They say on Twitter, we appreciate that we've been quiet recently, so thanks again to everybody who has chosen to support us. We've been hard at work on Hytale, and we'll have an update for the community in the coming weeks. In the meantime, thank you for your patience. Now, as Hytale fans know, this is something not really to get excited about because this will happen in time and time again. They've proven that it's pretty much just been a minor update and, and nothing really too crazy to announce. However, it looks like from what we know, this update is going to be different. There's going to be some kind of big announcement with this one. Now, I have a feeling that this announcement is either going to be really good news or really bad news. We're quickly approaching 
approaching the one year anniversary since the announcement trailer has been posted. And if they want to announce something, I guess, around that one year anniversary, if it's good news, it'll probably happen then. If it's bad news, then, well, I guess we're going to be getting that pretty soon. Many in the community have been speculating that they have been saving up this announcement. They haven't been putting out blog posts quite as recently because they're preparing to launch the beta sometime in late December this year. However, I would say that is a possibility, but I wouldn't get your hopes up for this. If the announcement is that the beta is going to be releasing within this month or before the end of 2019, then I feel like there would have been at least a little bit more buildup before they had announced that because this is actually the longest period in time that they've been silent to us uh, out of their entire history. So clearly what they've been working on is something big and grand, but I don't think it's the announcement of the beta or anything like that. Maybe it's the precursor or the stepping stone up to being able to announce the beta. Because when you think about it, they would need a lot more time to prep if that release was coming and we haven't heard anything when it comes to the people that have signed up for emails. I think the announcement could be one of two things. Either this is going to be a blog post and it's another development update what they've been working on and maybe helps us get a little bit closer to an expected release date or potentially even more exciting, this is the announcement of the release date. Or maybe to put it more accurately, the announcement date of the beta. And that would make sense as what we know from the studio of Hytale is that at the moment they're not understaffed, they have all the funding they need, and they're working hard on the game still, they've been completely silent for over three months, so what could possibly happen if it's not another development update? The other option, if the big update is bad news, then this could possibly mean a shift in management, meaning, meaning a little bit more delays that they're going to announce. I wouldn't think they would make that public at this time, though, but you never know. What baffles me is how finished the game appears to be and how, how honestly, how done it's appeared to be since 2018, but we haven't even had ourselves a beta. And that's interesting because the beta seems to be the best way for them to get mass testing on the product they've been developing. And then, you know, it's not a full game, so they can go back and tweak anything that's not working later. In fact, the game looks so completed that there is a leaked image right here that you guys can see of a QA tester apparently showing off the main menu of Hytale. Now, obviously, it's a really scuffed image. It's it's hard to see. And that's kind of how these leaks are. But as we can tell from this already that it has a fully built UI and main menu and all of the in-game stuff seems to be working as proper as it should. So the question that everyone wants to know is what is taking so long? Notice something interesting when going on their website, the fact that they are still high hiring developers and their job opportunities, also software engineers, and even quality assurance testers still. What this means to me is that there are still some aspects of the game that need to be developed. So they still need devs, they still need engineers, and they even need QA testers, believe it or not. Now, it's possible that they could have just left this up on the website. Maybe they have all the staff they need and they're not hiring anymore, but they haven't took this down. The problem is, if they are still hiring, this is the number one reason I believe that the big announcement or whatever it is, is not going to be, hey, this is the beta. To be honest, I don't even think it's going to be an announcement of a release date, but we still need to talk about when those things could be just because, unfortunately, I think we can rule out 2019 as being a release date, but let's talk about 2020. This is the most likely time frame, in my opinion, and I really believe that if Hytale doesn't have anything major happen in 2020, then it's pretty much over for this game. I know a lot of you guys who watch my channel and many people in the Hytale community, including myself, are just so incredibly frustrated about getting excited for this game and then only to be let down, and a lot of the people let out that frustration on me in my videos, and which I think is kind of misguided. I, I mean, I get it though. Everybody's kind of upset at this. Believe me, if I was in charge of the Hytale release date, it would have already been out. I'm just the messenger. I'm doing my best to keep the community informed, engaged, and still interested and excited about this game because I genuinely believe that it could be one of the greatest games uh, of that decade, honestly, when it releases. If it comes out in 2020, I really think this game is going to cause absolute shockwaves and just last for a really long time. With the caveat that it is working upon Upon launch day and if everything is functioning as smoothly as it should then I don't see any why any reason Hytale would fail. And while having these blog posts from Hytale about the development cycle is great and it's good to see what they're working on, you know, keeps us engaged on to what's happening. If this big update within the next week or so isn't some kind of bombshell announcement or there's no substance to this one, I, I really feel like they're doing themselves a disservice and kind of shooting themselves in the foot. Crossing the one year mark from your announcement trailer and maybe still no release date in sight is not a good look for your game. And I, I feel like the patience of the Hytale community is wearing thin, although I'm trying my best to keep you guys 
guys as engaged and extend that attention as much as possible. Believe me, I'm with you guys and I want Hightail release more than ever. So I'm going to predict for right now until we get this update that we could expect maybe a beta and potentially even a full release date in 2020 sometime. Now, probably mid 2020 is a reasonable guess right now based on all the current information. I don't think anything's going to happen in 2019, unfortunately, depending on, again, what this information says. But we're just going to have to wait and see, I guess. But let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about Hytale. Are you still excited for this game or have you given up on it? Are you still looking forward to this coming out? And when do you think the release date is going to be? If you guys enjoyed the video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you are brand new and I'll see you all on the next stream or the next video. Have a good one, guys, and peace out.